Hey Sunny family, what's up? Welcome back. This is your Sunny Trainer Sydney and today I have a quick 10 minute beginner workout for you on a mini stepper at home. Today I'm going to be using the mini stepper with the handlebar and you can grab onto that handlebar throughout the workout at any time to support yourself. If you have a regular mini stepper that doesn't have a handlebar, you are welcome to do this workout as well. All right, we're gonna get started with a quick warm up, starting with step jacks. So we're gonna step out to the side, just like that, nice little tap. Nice and gentle. And if you wanna do a regular jumping jack and add that jump in there, you are welcome to do so just like this. But if you would like to keep it low impact today, we'll just hang out right here. Nice work, keep breathing. All right, we're gonna switch it up to butt kicks. So just stepping back and forth, alternating sides. We are kicking that heel up to try to reach that butt. Getting a nice little stretch in the quads. Getting everything nice and ready to go. All right, next up, we are gonna hop onto our stepper for a little warm up. Our first little exercise on our mini stepper. So go ahead and get on up there. We're gonna start with a basic step today. So just nice and simple. You don't need to push those foot plates all the way down to that bar at the bottom, but we're getting a pretty good range of motion here. Now, a few things that you might wanna think about when you're on your stepper. We want our feet to be solid on those foot plates throughout the whole workout, all right? That's gonna minimize any, um, extra pressure on your ankles or your knees. So nice and easy. We are also thinking about our posture as we're exercising, all right? So we're keeping a nice and tight core and our upper body posture, nice. Shoulders are up and back. Now you might notice that I have a nice little slight lean forward here. That's going to help engage those glutes and hamstrings just a little bit more when you're on your stepper. It's a little bit more of a power position. So we're gonna be able to get a little bit more leverage when we're just slightly bent over like this. Not too far, just nice and slight. Pretty upright for the most part. Great work, you guys. All right, we're gonna switch it up to a quick step in a few seconds here. So basically we're just gonna increase our pace. All right, we're just gonna do a 30 second interval. Ready? In three, two, and one, increase that pace. With a quick step, we're not really concerned about full range of motion. We're just trying to step as quickly as we can. If this is too fast for you, you don't have to match my pace. Just go as fast as you can today. Always remember that this is your workout. So you'll wanna make sure that you're picking a pace that's right for you, right? And we're gonna take a rest. In three, two, and one. Good job. Now you're welcome to come back to that basic step nice and slow while we're resting. If you wanna take a full rest, go ahead and come to a complete stop. You can hang out on your stepper or you're free to get off and grab a little drink of water. <sighs> nice deep breath. We're gonna do another quick step interval coming up in five seconds. Ready, three, two, and one. You'll definitely find a quick step throughout our regular workouts when you get onto those more intermediate and advanced sessions. So this is an exercise that you're gonna wanna get down. Great work, we have 15 more seconds. Keep pushing that pace. Keep breathing, you can do this. Ready and rest. Great job, you guys. Like I said, if you wanna keep stepping it out, just a regular step here, totally fine. Or if you wanna take a full, full rest, feel free. We'll get back into a regular basic step in 15 seconds. Nice deep breath. Ready, back to basic step in three, two, and one. Pick up that pace just a touch. 
Remember, we're not pushing those pedals all the way down. That's actually the move that we're going to get into next. So a power or a full step is a step where we push that all the way down to the metal at the bottom. All right, usually when we're doing these, we're focused on a powerful move. So we wanna really push hard with those legs and our muscles to really get the most out of this motion. All right, ready? We're gonna try an interval of that. 30 seconds. Ready? In three, two, one, let's do it. All right, so pushing down nice and powerful. You're really gonna feel that resistance on your machine when you do this step. Feel free to take an athletic stance. So once again, slight lean forward with the upper body so that you can really focus on pushing with power through those steps. Great work. Almost there. In three, two, and one. All right, 30 seconds to recover. Great job, you guys. That right there is a power step and you're going to see that all the time throughout our workouts. We might call it a power step. We might call it a full step. They're the same thing. Ready, we're gonna do one more power step interval. Ready, set, let's go. 30 seconds. Just try to push yourself as hard as you can. If you're having a hard time getting through this workout, Feel free to take rest whenever you need. You can always try again to get through more of it tomorrow, right? Ready. We're gonna take a rest in three, two, and one. 30 seconds of recovery. Once again, feel free to grab a sip of water. Nice deep breath. All right, next up, we are gonna do a little bit of a challenge before we're done for the day. So one minute and 30 seconds, we're going to be moving with no rest, all right? We're gonna put together all of the moves that we learned today in this workout. So starting with a regular step, 30 seconds, then we'll go into a quick step, and then we'll finish off with that power step. All right, are you ready? We're gonna start in five seconds. Ready? Three, two, and one. Basic step. All right, our pace is up. Not quite a quick step. Getting a good range of motion. Remember, we're keeping those foot, that, those feet all on the pedal. So heel stays down, toe stays down. Everything is flat on that foot plate so that you can push with those legs. Switching to a quick step. Ready, let's go. Pick up that pace. Nice and quick on those feet. Only 30 seconds, you've got this. Keep it up. Almost there, 10 more seconds to go, and we'll switch to that power step. In three, two, one, let's go. Nice and powerful. Feel those glutes and those hamstrings working as you push with power through that step. Great job. We're almost there, keep moving. Ten more seconds. Come on. Dig deep. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Hop off your stepper. Great work, you guys. We're going to do some quick stretches. So just bend down. One leg comes out. We're going to reach down to that toe. Stretching out that hamstring and the calves. If you can't reach your toe, just reach for that ankle or that knee whatever works for you. Keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. We're letting those lungs recover. Let's switch it to the other side. We're 
we're gonna finish off with a little quad stretch. So just bring that left leg up behind you. If you wanna hold on to a wall or something stable, feel free. Core stays nice and tight. So we pull that leg back. Good job. Keep breathing. Shake it out. Let's go to the right side. <laughs> Try to stay balanced, but if you don't, it's okay. You can just pick it right back up. Shake it out. All right, big breath in. Reach up to the sky. Great job, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me for this beginner's workout. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.